We know the real reason Asus didn't use OLED in the Ally X. Oh, okay. This oh. has been this has been a big problem actually for yes. the ROG Ally X in general. For a lot of people that have got the Steam Deck yes. OLED and a reason not to jump over. Yes. How many questions have we had about this? Oh, oh. More than I can count. <laughs> and I'm going to preface this video by saying we're not Digital Foundry. No, no, we're not. No. <laughs> so, we, you know, some things, you know. So the level in which we're going to dive into this is quite shallow. Yes. But there are some very significant reasons as why Asus didn't put an OLED panel in the ROG Alley X. Yes. I want to say that when we asked them directly, yes. they did say that there was issues with that they are less efficient for yep. power, mm -hmm. generate a little bit more heat. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why they couldn't put... A VR yes. OLED panel in the Asus Rock Yes, LX. and also just because of the price yes. of having a VR OLED, because they wanted to stick with the VR thing. Yes, was substantial. You and, know? and I will say for the Rock LX that the the VR aspect of it is one of its kind of best features. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because games fluctuate so massively in yep. FPS, you know, it just smooths it all over and makes everything look buttery smooth. Yeah. But since you've been going on a bit of a deep dive with eGPU setups yes. and trying to get like the ultimate hybrid console yes. running on your 77-inch OLED yes. TV, yes. Uh, you've been running into some significant and interesting issues yeah. with OLED panels. Yes. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's now become quite clear as to why Asus yeah. wouldn't put the OLED yes. panel in it. Yeah. So this was all like news to me yes. do you know what I mean because I went from an OLED panel that wasn't VRR that was only 60 hertz yeah. you know the Sony Bravia like master series like yeah. beautiful for watching movies on not great for playing games on you know so went down this TV route alongside the eGPU thing and then landed on this 77 inch 120 yeah. hertz OLED G-Sync certified Amazing. AMD FreeSync premium certified like yeah. you know so I was like yeah this is going to be the best thing ever you know I can run frame gen and have VRR you know and it, everything's going to be incredible no <laughs> there's some problems no, the world <laughs> does not give what it offers does it you know no. so uh, and, yeah and inherently the flaw and the reason why we think Asus didn't put an OLED panel in the ROG LX is the combination of VRR yep. and OLED specifically, yeah. specifically mm -hmm. and the introduction of significant flicker, or yes. as you like to say, flicking the bean. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes. They, they do flicker. And I thought this was a me problem. Mm. And that's where this rabbit Which hole... Which is always possible. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I thought this rabbit hole opened and I thought, it's a problem with my eGPU yeah. setup until I realized it happened on the Xbox as well. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, hang on, it's a problem with the TV. Better start like looking into this, see if they can fix it. Or do I need to return this panel again? And yeah. like, you know, do I need to find something else? Until the more I sort of dived in, the more I found out this is a common problem that affects all OLED screens. Yeah. Whether it's a monitor or a TV, whatever it is, VRR is a problem. And there is a percentage that it doesn't affect. Yeah, it's, it, it's a, I think it's about 20% of them it doesn't affect. Yes, but the rest does. Yeah. And, you know, go on to Reddit or anything like that. Just Google OLED VRR flicker. So, yeah, LCD mod, mod, monitors, like um, you've got like TN panels, yeah. the IPS yeah. panels, and then the VA panels and yeah. stuff don't typically have this issue. It is a specific OLED problem with mm -hmm. the way that it displays the image without a backlight. Yes. And that is the problem. And inherently, this will display um, as a problem with... It's, it's contrast basically, but it's in the darkest areas yes. of any frame. And that is, like you were saying, because of the lack of backlighting mm -hmm. on this, a, a consistent backlighting, you you get less of this flicker when VR are enabled. So when there is a variable frame rate coming out of your device, which is likely to happen with something that's got uh, that's like slightly underpowered yeah, or yeah. slightly newer games, yep. obviously the VRR is telling the panel to match its refresh to that frame yes. rate. Um, and that with OLED panels is causing flicker mm -hmm. because there's no backlighting mm -hmm. on the darkest areas. Yes. The certification for these panels is typically tested in the 127 RGB range, which yes. is the like, light gray. Yeah, yeah, it's like a midpoint, mid isn't point. it? So it's not really affected there. So yeah. it can pass all these certified, yeah, everything's good to go. It's lab tested. Yeah, you know? great. Everything's good at this specific point. Yeah. But anything below that then you've got a problem. Anything above that's fine. Yes. So if you play really bright games, like some sort of kid game or like Fortnite or something, I don't know, like something very bright and yeah. vibrant, 
you're not going to notice the kind of things that I play, which is like Alan Wake 2, all the like horror stuff, yeah. you know, a lot of dark games. And also, it has a problem. It with. has to be said, you won't notice the problem if you're playing games that are well within your hardware's capability of keeping a consistent frame rate. A consistent frame which rate. Which kind of defeats the object of VRR. Exactly, yeah, yeah. But if you've got like balls to the wall setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and- in your you're, you're capping your fps at 100 say yes then you're fine yes and that's the thing is it's game dependent because yes. it could just be an unoptimized game you could have a 40 90 and yep. still have this problem yeah you know which is actually some of the stuff we were looking into were tested with those kind of cards and it still runs into that issue and yep. my my problem specifically where it was fine mm-hmm. was, was with what you're saying. So yeah. my 4070 eGPU setup, I was playing uh, Pumpkin Jack nice. over the Halloween period. Uh, obviously, it's a, a low-end game. Yeah. You know, like it's an indie game. I could smash the FPS on that. I had to cap the game at 117, so I wasn't going above the 120 hertz refresh of my OLED panel. Yeah, I don't want tearing. No, yeah. exactly. I didn't want tearing and to go above the VRR bracket. Yeah. So the typical thing is that you cap it like three FPS below. Yeah. If it's 120, you cap at 117. So my eGPU, my 4070, could easily do 4K at that, ray tracing on, everything bells and whistles yeah. on, and maintain 117 FPS or above, but it's been capped right consistently no vrr flicker yeah. at all and that's with g-sync enabled you know for full screen and windowed so yeah. g-sync is enabled my tv says you've got a g-sync input like yeah. thank you sweet yeah. yeah so i was like great played that game went yeah oh, this is wicked yeah. you know everything's fine switch to another game specifically you know let's just talk about it because it's the game i'm playing at the minute yeah spider-man miles morales 4K, you know, everything, well, all very high and everything, other than ray tracing off. Yeah, let's, but yeah, let's not bother. Yeah, <laughs> no, we, we've got a podcast coming about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that fluctuates between 75 and 115 FPS. Right. That's it's a, a huge big variable. variable. Yeah. And specifically with that game, even if, if you're in the start menu where he's on the tram, yeah, you know, yeah. with some really cool music. I yeah. like that game. It's cool. Even there, in his coat and in the background and stuff, the flicker's happening. Yeah. Because there's m- so much of a variable there. Yeah. That the con, I think it's a contrast. It's, it's yeah, contrast specific. Yeah, yeah. Because of the OLED panel, the lack of bat light. Yeah. And it only appears in the shadows. So yes. if there is a bright image, that's not flickering. No. It's the darkness that's flickering. Right. So even there alone, you can see the flicker. And I thought, eh, maybe it's just that scene. But then as you play the game, your eye just draws to things that yeah. are flickering. Like, and it's like, oh man, this is annoying. Yeah. So, uh, beyond uh, like a total redesign of how OLED panels work, it seems like there's no simple fix for this. There's no workaround for it. There's there's three really good workarounds. Should we go through them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, number one, mm-hmm. turn VRR off. Oh, that's what, <laughs> that's what I wanted. I bought a 77-inch yes. OLED TV, yes. right? Yeah. With G-Sync certified. Yes. Because I wanted to turn off <laughs> G-Sync. I went, you know that feature? Yeah. I don't want that. No, why would you? I'm going to pay for it. Yeah. But I'm not going to use the, it. <laughs> the biggest selling feature of, of the panel it, it, in the ROG Ally X handheld, yes. I know it's an LCD panel, yeah, is yeah. VRR. So yes. then when you look at the bigger screens, you're like, oh, I'd love that feature in these bigger Absolutely. screens. Absolutely. No, you've got to turn it off. No, you've got to turn it off. Oh, yeah, great. Okay. And with games at the minute, we've just we've touched on this in previous podcasts on yeah. the podcast channel. So go subscribe. Yeah. Right. Games are kind of required to have VRR now. I mean, yes. even Digital Foundry said it's not a good solution, but it is a necessity to it have a VRR necessity. panel yeah. because games can't hit a stable FPS. Even look at Black Ops 6 right now. Great example. You know, on um, Xbox itself, if you hit 120 FPS mode, yeah. then it fluctuates between sort of 70 and 120. That's a massive variable. Yeah. So you need a VRR panel. Oh, hey, you've got an OLED? Dad, turn it off. Yeah, sorry. Have some screen tearing. <laughs> yeah, great. So uh, the, the other solution that you yep. can do is cap your frame rate ah. to be within what you know is capable of your hardware oh, so, so it won't fluctuate. So turn VRR off. Which is turning yeah, VRR off. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, so let's just turn it off again. So there's two options there. So you've got turn it off or turn yeah. it off. Yeah, run yeah. at uh, 30 FPS. Run at 30 off. FPS or 60. That's fine, you know, but you're still not having a variable. There. I still think you'd get variation at 60. Yes. Or on yeah, some, yeah. Definitely on some games. Yeah, I'm Maybe sure even would. on stuff like Black Ops 6. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But yeah, it depends on the hardware in the game. And What's what the third solution, Andy? Um, well, people say upgrade your hardware. <laughs> yeah, great. So buy a 4090, yeah. which depending on the game, again, because if it's unoptimized, yeah. it could still be all over the place. Especially if you put ray tracing yes, on. Yes, exactly. So 
that's not an option. No. So turn VRR off again. So you've got three turn VRRs off or the, the final option, right. which is the old fix for the, the problem of screen tearing, you know, the old time favorite that everyone hates because of latency is V-Sync. V-Sync, yeah. Let's okay. turn on V-Sync. Well, if it's the only solution to get rid of no. flickering, then that's what you're, you're doing. So that's number four. Do yeah. you know what that means? What? Turning off VRR. <laughs> yes, turn off VRR, cap your frame rate, mm. and turn on V-Sync yes. is the yeah. only solution. So disable VRR. Um, coming into these problems with the eGPU setup, it's actually been really enlightening to to see why Asus didn't put an OLED panel mm. in the ROG Ally X because I imagine the the blowback, oh, the yeah. fallout from this. Yes, if everyone's ROG Ally X was flickering. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah it looks beautiful because of OLED. Yeah, no, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree. Yes, but because of that VRR, it's just yes. flickering. Yes, massively. And to be perfectly honest, now that I've experienced this and gone down this rabbit hole to find all this out, because I didn't yeah. even know it was a problem because my OLED previously yeah never had that problem because it didn't have vrr yeah <laughs> and it only had 60 and everything i put through that tv could easily run 60 fps so i yeah. never had that issue but yeah i think if i got one of these right and it had a an oled panel mm. and it was flickering yes like you can't not see it you, it you would be so in your face. They'd all be RMA. You'd be sending them back saying there's, yeah. a, there's some kind of flaw with the panel. It's yep. just anything dark is strobing yep. at my and face. And everyone would be blaming Asus. Yes. You know, and it's not their problem. No. And I, I'm hoping, Asus, if you're watching, yeah. and you don't know that this is a problem. They know it's a <laughs> you, problem. Look into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, don't, don't release one with VRR if it's going to have this issue. And that's the thing with the Steam Deck OLED. doesn't have VRR. No. And it's got a 90 hertz panel. Which is great. It's still a high refresh because the higher the refresh, the less obvious screen tearing is. Yes, because of, because the frames are happening faster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also, I, I'm I'm assuming it just defaults VSync on mm. on the Steam Deck. It feels like it um, yeah. because you never really get tearing on there. But also, it's low powered. You're mainly running old games through it. Yes. Yeah, so, so the hardware, it, the game is within the bracket of the hardware yeah. to have a consistent frame rate. The frame rate's going to be lower anyway. Yes. There probably is VSync, so. Yeah, but uh, uh, in within those games, the, probably the inherent latency is not as obvious. Yeah, yeah. Um, so when when we start pushing the boundaries of what's possible, specifically on handheld hardware and what APUs are actually capable of, mm. there is compromises that are inherently going to happen. Yes, and it seems like OLED panels is one of those compromises that we're bumping up against yeah. if we want VRR. Absolutely, and that is again on all panels. Yeah, on all panels, no matter what it is. And yeah, it's a sad thing. I think the the way forward really is to give you an option, you know, release two SKUs. Yeah. Do you want like 120 hertz OLED or do you want 120 hertz LCD with VRR? So I'll ask you that question. Oh. To finish this up, oh. if Asus released two SKUs for this, oh. one was OLED, 120 hertz panel, no VRR, oh. or you have the LCD with VRR, what are you picking? It's same really, price. Let's it's, say to pretend yeah, the same yeah, price. Same price. It's very difficult because OLED is so beautiful. It really you know? is. And with my eGPU set up on this 77 inch, I've just had to suck it and go V-Sync, disabled VRR entirely, yeah. and just V-Sync everything. And I'm having a blast. You yeah. know, it's amazing. But I know how powerful that VRR, like how much of a gold dust it is mm. on this. I think I'd probably take the VRR. I, I I'm think inclined I to agree with you. Uh, I wouldn't of uh, when I first used the Steam Deck OLED when you oh, got absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. At that point, and mm. when the Switch OLED had come out, well, at that mm. point I would have gone no OLED all the way because it mm -hmm. is so beautiful just to look at. Yes, yeah, you but can't deny playing yeah. games. Yeah, uh, the VRR has uh, kind of blown my mind. Yeah, and, and the experience you get from it, this yeah. seamless, smooth. Yeah. It's kind of illusion of everything's maintaining a faster frame rate. Yeah, yeah. You never notice the drops. When you're playing handheld on, with the limitations that you get in the hardware f with handheld devices, mm. everything's mm. so small, I, I think VRR is probably more important. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, taking Spider-Man Miles Morales that we were talking about on yep. the OLED, where it's so noticeable, those drops and that yes. flicker, playing on this, you know, and not having any perceivable difference in frame rate. Everything is just smooth. Yes. Despite the fact that it's fluctuating massively, obviously different settings. I'm not playing 4K on this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you're not. But no? 1080p medium settings <clears throat> with no frame gen on, you're still mm. getting like 60 FPS on this yeah. thing. It's ridiculous, yes. you know? But it fluctuates, but you don't see any of it. 
it just maintain it makes everything feel like 90 fps mm. you know it's just like oh and it doesn't matter where you go if you hit a spike yeah you just don't see it yeah whereas totally. you do if you don't have vrr yeah so if you're if you're struggling if you've come across the flickering on your oled panels and thinking that you've done something you're wrong, not alone you're not alone <laughs> absolutely not alone and if you've been scratching your head as to why aces haven't put an oled panel in the rog lax well this I, is the reason i think now you yeah. know yeah I, th I think this is the true reason that they just haven't discussed yeah the technology isn't there yet and they did i'm i'm thinking back to the conversation i had with their pr department mm. and they did kind of allude to it being a technology issue yes rather than a uh a commercial choice yes yeah 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 and i just think that that was probably the technology issue they were bumping I, up against. it makes sense we've got all these other handhelds coming out that are oled mm -hmm. they're not vrr not vrr they're high refresh yep not vrr yep. and i think that's the reason yeah so there you have it there what should they it. do finish the video they should go down there like this video of course Obviously. share this with people that you know that have oleds or you know, are like, why doesn't it have an OLED? You know, because legitimately this is uh, the, the main issue here. Uh, and also make sure you subscribe. What else should they do, AJ? Uh, well, they should become channel memberships. Oh, yeah. Channel, they should become channel they memberships. They should become a membership option. <laughs> yes. If you want to be a channel membership option, let me know in the comments below and I'll make it happen. <laughs> Until then, join channel memberships. It's 99p. You get to join us in our Discord and talk about all things gaming with us. Yes. And until the next time, We'll probably see you then. Bye.